What's up, everybody? Hope you had an awesome weekend. What's up, L? Hey, Mike. So soon that we see each other. We had an awesome weekend. The 4th of July oh. was a blast. Yes, it was. Um, I'm going to be doing some walking for a while. Burn off a little few extra calories. <laughs> but it was oh, fun. Man. We hope y'all had an awesome weekend, too. It was so fun. We had it with my family. It was a blast. But let's get right to the title, everybody, because we came together with this one, and it's called Stop Being Fake. That's right. Take oh. it away, Mike. Oh, yeah. We're going to take this one away. So when we talk about Stop Being Fake, it's going to hit a lot of people in ways we're not going to approach it like, you know, this show is different, so we don't talk about things the way people talk about. It. Stop Being Fake is talking about you paying attention more to what makes you happy than running around doing things for other people. You, you know what fake is? Somebody says, can you do that? Okay. Um, I don't mind. That's okay. Yeah, you do mind. Yeah, you don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to upset somebody. That's mm -hmm. being fake to yourself. That's being fake to yourself. And I am, I, I love this title because I've been so guilty of it in the past because being a people pleaser initially gives you so much gratitude when you learn to stop taking other people's emotions and putting them before yours. Mm. Worrying about what other people say. So this is really hitting home with me because I used to be that people pleaser. And sometimes, you know, that old party wants to come back in because you don't want anybody to be upset. You're fake when you're worrying about what other people want, but you're fake when you're doing for other people and acting like it doesn't matter. Like you're happy to do it. Oh, no problem. Sure, no problem. Then you walk around. Mm -hmm. If you walk away from a situation and someone asks you to do something, say, sure, no problem. Go like this. You're being fake and you're hurting yourself. Mm. I like, um, it kind of reminds me a little bit what we touched on last week from our episode is, and we didn't get too much into it, but maybe we did. When you were sharing, um, even with our, ourselves, we can, people never actually meet the true version of you until weeks later. And then they might say, when you start settling into yourself and saying, you know what, I'm not going to be this way anymore. I just want to be me. But after a while, it takes a toll on you. And the real you will eventually come out. But yeah. then they start looking at you like you're a different person because you are. They start calling the real version of you that's evolving and showing himself yes. itself yeah. fake. Now they're like, what? What's up with you? Why are you being fake? You were never like this. You aren't controversial. Oh, by the way, did you hear a little noise in the background? Is it a little noisy? Not on my end. You hear um from me? Like a little bit of snow, but it's fine. I can hear you. Oh. Like that. Huh. Make sure all my plugs are in. I'm not hearing anything. I can hear you clearly. It's just like that's better. Now it's getting a little louder again, but that's okay. We'll work through it. Okay. I could go back into the room where I normally record. Let me do that. Um, let's see. Let's see, it's pausing in and out. I don't know how loud it's going to be for people listening. Like, right now, stopped. Completely stopped. And now it's starting again. Okay, what if my headphones? All right. Could you turn, could you take your headphones off and would it still work or no? Uh, I just your wouldn't be able to. I think it's your headphones. Okay, because I wouldn't be able to hear you. Hold on, what's because I can still, we can still, we can keep going and we can do another one if we don't. But let's keep going. Let's keep going what we're doing. Like we said, we don't edit this stuff. That's actually better right there. Okay. Okay. Um, but one of the things, um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep on going. Like I said, let's just keep flowing with it. Um, with the being fake and all that stuff, like Ellie, you just said, people are going to say, why are you acting like that? Because I'm finally becoming the real me. We're not asking you to walk around being mean because the true nature of who you are is love. So mm -hmm. you don't walk around trying to get back at all the people that you let off the hook by saying you don't mind now. Guess what? Fuck him. Fuck her. Screw that. I'm going to mm -hmm. do me. No, no, no. We're not saying do that. We're saying just come to peace with the fact that you say no smiling. Say, you know, honestly, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even you this, yeah. Yeah. You know, blah, blah. Come on, Mike, let's go do this. Now that's okay. But yeah. You know, and then they keep on insisting. Now you might have to get firm and say, listen, 
I'm not going. You always went here. That's when I was being fake. That's when I acted like I didn't care. That's when I acted like I didn't care, but I really did care. So now, meet the new me. I do care. I'm, you don't have to say sorry, but if you want to say for their sake, for your sake, mostly do it for your, don't always do it for your sake. You say sorry that I presented that person to you, but this is who I really am. Yeah, it's my. And don't get used to apologizing to people for who you are because sorry means the universe made a mistake. It never made a mistake. I talk in the language of people so they can understand. I will not go around and say sorry, sorry, sorry all the time. I will say sorry once more so for it doesn't hurt me to tell someone, hey, sorry about that. I'm speaking the language of a person who's not on the level of mentality where I am because naturally you don't ever have to apologize for anything. But I know with that being said, I'm going to say sorry because it doesn't freaking bother me. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to keep going on saying, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just say it the one time. Sorry that I introduced that part to you. But the real me, you're going to have to get used to it, is not going to be agreeing with everything you're saying. Guess what? Your circle of true friends, true friends make it a lot smaller. And I was going to um, actually share that is the apology will often exert an apology to other people also do the same for yourself, you know, and we always um, promote being kind to yourself. So also do that for yourself and it's okay. And like Mike said, you most likely, it'll just naturally happen. It's nothing that you have to effort. Your circle of friends that met the air quote, fake version slash a real version of you, they'll fall sometimes to the wayside Use it as an opportunity as the new wave of people that are on the same spirituality yeah. bandwidth that you are. Take that opportunity to step in to the authentic version of you and introduce the real version of you to them. Yes. Yes. 100%. I'm so with you. I have been mm-hmm. um, so well said, Ellie. I've really been into this quantum jumping and leaping, really. And it's so fun as you meditate, you calm yourself, and then you introduce yourself to the real you, the one that has everything that you desire. You're not putting any pressure on yourself. You just observe. First, I observe the person I am in the, for lack of better terms, future. We can talk about that another time, but there is no future. But you look at everything you would represent if you were what you wanted, if you had all the cars and money, whatever makes you happy. How would you be acting? What person would you see? That's the real you. And then if you were to observe it and then step into that person right now, which you can do, you will start taking on the characteristics and things of that person. Would you as, um, I'm making this up for me. I'm going to use myself as an example being transparent. I'm a billionaire. I like money muscle. I love people and people love me. I also enjoy hanging out with my family. Um, I enjoy my quiet time as much as I enjoy helping and encouraging other people when, they're, when that time allow, is for it. But one of the biggest things is I realized that I would be kind but firm about what I stand for. Full of love and play. But I would not be accepting bullshit from anybody. So, so does that I, tie into method acting? Because I know a, a while back you and I had a discussion. You shared how much you love this one taping from Brian Scott who introduced yes. acting. So yes. does that play a part in that? You could definitely say that plays a part in it. Quantum jumping is observing everything that would be existing if you were already there. Asking yourself, ask your higher self, so show me what I'm like. You can really do this, guys. This is not spirituality. This is science. This is not spirituality. You can, they're interchangeable, those two words. For people who aren't spiritual, that's fine. This is, we're talking real, actual, factual mm-hmm. science here. So you're going to observe that person and talk to them because that's a version of you. You're so much more than what we see in front of us. So what do you mean by talking to, to actually to yourself? Act, yes, you're, well, a version of yourself that represents what you would like to physically observe in your life. So can you give me an example? Okay. So I'm meditating. I close my eyes. Mm-hmm. And I'm learning not to be faked by learning what would it feel like to be who I am. So I'm like, you know what, Mike, hey, how are you? And I'll be like, you know, how is my life? What, like, how is everything? How do mm-hmm. How do you feel on a daily basis? 
What's your day like? And close your eyes. And guys, I know this sounds crazy. I know it sounds hard. It's not hard at all. It's just belief in understanding that this stuff works. Your higher self who has been dying to talk to you will be like, Mike, you're full of love. Your life is beautiful. You'll notice you're not even saying this. Like this is coming from such a channel. You're channeling mm -hmm. these words to you. You're talking to yourself and you can hear your voice may be different. You're like, wow, I sound cool. Like, hey, and you're like, you got the, my, like my higher self has a voice that's like just so melodic and so sure. It's so invincible, but full of love. It's not uh, the, my higher self, the person I envision mm -hmm. feels invincible, full of love, full of laughter, mm -hmm. and isn't, and will quickly laugh at itself as quickly for somebody else. There's no ego involved, just, just whatever. I love that because when they're, when you're talking and sharing, I get a vision of when you say your higher self, it comes to, in my mind, that's your, you know, your spirit for visuals, those who might be a visual. And then we're here for the human experience, right? Yes. So we have a tendency to step right into that, the yeah. human factor. But when you step into the acting, like Mike sharing, the spirit and the human can connect. Yes. It's it's the glue. Yes. You can use it as glue to connect. Absolutely. And right. So You're okay. So right. Okay. You're so right. You're so right with this. Okay. I, I love I really love that. Um, your higher self in your human form. We just have a tendency to spend so much time in our human form. But again, when we're depressed or sad or feeling that we're not aligned, it just shows you the distance from your spirit and human, your humanity. Right. And all we're doing is using tools and techniques to bridge the gap. Yes. Yes. That's yes. all we're doing is bridging that gap. 100%. You're bridging the gap between who you, the, the where you had knee jerk, uh, I love, I'm taking the Abraham Hicks words. When you are having knee jerk reactions to physical manifestations in your life, you're getting further from who you truly are. So it's like here, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I love another thing she said I heard yesterday. Whatever is manifested in your life is old news. It already happened. The played out physical manifestation is the last stage of vibration is the physical manifestation, AKA old news. Do you pay attention to old news or you pay attention to the news that you're creating? You're always creating. So is that why, well, I'll take it back to you and Jody, our older brother, and uh -huh. Eric, when you guys were excited about the ZX and you were going to purchase the ZX. Yes. And I was talking to Eric, I think it was last week when we were visiting them in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And he had said all of the excitement for you guys in the journey was in looking at the ZX, talking about it, going on imagine it oh yeah signing the paperwork but after you guys had it in the parking lot it, it was like okay that's cool but it's like oh that's cool we got it we're like wait a minute looking back the most fun part was the journey the experience and i know for people who were looking and saying yes yeah, say that to the next creditor coming along say that to this we talk more about the books we used to get out on it. We used to get a DuPont registry, car and driver, and we find anything the 300 ZX. Remember back in the day, the internet wasn't there, so we had to find magazines. We used to just have magazines, and we just put them together, and we talk about. We didn't know what we were doing. Yeah, we ended up with the most beautiful T-top 300 Nissan ZX. 400 horsepower, the thing could literally launch. It was better than we dreamed about. That's what's cool. It was better looking and faster and more beautiful and had more stuff in it than we ever even considered we have. Correct, correct. And I love that because the stop being fake really drives into this despite our parents' beliefs and we know they were doing what was best for us. So nothing there, but despite that, as kids, align and in alignment and true to yourself, 
and you didn't conform and become what they wanted. And in turn, you manifest it. To this day, you're playing a big shift in our father and where he, his mindset is too. 100. He has done a 360 because yeah. you stayed true to your stuff. 100%. You have to stay true to yourself. L L everything you just said. And I feel that even to add more to it is, are you okay without being popular? Let's say if you are, but a lot of your popularity had to do with you doing what people wanted you to do. Some people do it because they feel it gets them more friends or no one's going to like me if I do what I want to do. Exact opposite. Mm -hmm. Plus, anyone who has a lot of friends and the reason you have a lot of friends is because you're a people pleaser. You're being fake to the most person that means the most. That's yourself. Spot on, Mike. So spot on. Even for yourself. I love that we are doing the... Um, the emails and we're putting together a package for individuals that are introverts and can work from home. I was told for myself, believe it or not, I consider myself an introvert, but someone told me in order to make sales, in order to make what I'm making, you're going to have to stop being an introvert. I said, how do you stop being who you are? Stop and being you're an introvert. It. You're, you don't mind being an introvert. Some people, you love being one. Exactly. Exactly. Now I could go out of alignment and take him up on his offer. Every night you can get on a call with me and I'll change you from being an introvert. How do you, what? Yes. It's a difference if you are some, let's say you're a person who desires to speak more, desires to be out there doing something. That's one thing. But if you truly enjoy being quiet, there are people that really like you. You don't like always being in the spotlight. You actually have no problem being who you are, which is very good. Mm -hmm. The problem comes in when you become fake and you become something or try to become something despite you not wanting to do it because you think that's the only way to get there with our limited conscious mind. Correct. It's so true. I say, and your word, egotistical. Yes. Egotistical. When I look out again and guys... When it's nighttime, look at the moon. Are you helping it to step in the sky? No. Are you supporting the stars up there? Yeah. Uh, uh, gotta get home. Gotta hold the stars up in the sky. Tonight's my night. Do you gotta push the world around so it yeah. revolves? Is that a part you play at all? Yeah. Set your ego down. Because you play no part in your manifesting coming to you. Just your alignment will bring it, truly. It really will. Wow. It really that, will. Yes. Oh, my God. I love that. My, I go to that so often when there's something that I desire. And I can't figure out how it's going to happen because it, it's natural. We're here for a human experience. Think about the simplicity of, again, the magnificence and the magic of the sun, the stars. Just take it there with no help from you. It doesn't need your damn help. <laughs> and, we're, and think about that, even breathing. If you forgot to breathe, your body does it for you. That's true, that is true. That's a good one. You don't have to think about breathing. Breathe. If you don't think about breathing, go down. No, you don't have to think about that. Guys, the universe doesn't need your help. The only thing it wants you to do is relax. Relax and for the, the drop the ego, which is stopping everything from coming to you. You're literally putting your shoulder to a door, and you're holding it. You just yes. hold, you just put your shoulder to the door, like nope. Is that what I wanted? Nah, I can't come in here. Too easy. A little more effort. Need a little bit more effort. Well, actually, my the thing is, I, I like you say, if you want to help, if you really want to help, and this time, wow, one more minute. So this time, um is if you really want to help, help by staying in alignment. That's the part. It's not the wow. human, because the human form is efforting, right? Wow, yes. You yeah. want to help? Yes. Oh, you know, of course, the children you have, you know how when they're little and they want to do something, 
and this is just an analogy, you don't need their help, but you want to make them feel like doing something. So you do say, do something that makes you happy. Just sit on the floor and just stack these things over here. And they're getting so excited. That same amount of thing, do for you. If you really, really want to help, you don't have to think about what you want. Just be happy. It's like, listen, be happy. I'll take care of everything else. But it can't be that easy. It has to be a struggle. Is it working out for you right now? Oh, Try something no. different. <laughs> <laughs> Try something different. I think this is great, especially coming um a nice segue coming from the holiday. You guys know what it feels like to relax and have fun and talk with your friends. So that's fresh. You're coming off the weekend. You experienced yes. it. Don't let it go. Keep Don't the momentum it. flowing. You already have it. You're feeling wonderful today. Absolutely. That's your job. That's all you have to do. That's unfortunately, guys, that's all you have to do. I know you want more work. I know you want to go help the universe spin on his axis. But right? know, it's just so funny. Put it all down. You started the momentum this past week and keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Guys, it's been so fun. It time flew. Time flew. Can't wait. Always. For Friday, catch us again. All right, we're going to do some really more. Oh, always a great time with everybody. So thank you so much. High five, you L. Boom. All right, Mike. All right, catch you later, all right?